check out how many golf clubs this place has. Oh, that's sweet. Look at this uh, Callaway bag right here. What do you think? Just a little windy. Guys, welcome back. It's a little windy today. We did ask for a change of weather, but I wasn't expecting this crazy of weather. Yeah, so. we're having a nor'easter, which I thought was only in the northeast, but apparently it's just the direction that the storm comes from. So super windy today. We're going thrifting for golf clubs and anything else cool that we can find. Yeah, and hopefully we survive this weather. Yeah, we'll meet you at thrift store number oh. one. All right, let's take a look what we got. Looks like they got a full set of ladies clubs over here, a bunch of junior sets, and then I think this is a full set of these Mizuno Novel 2s. Yeah, I think it's a full set of these. I think these are ladies clubs. Got an Orlemar Tri-Metal in there, a couple of older wooden clubs, and two Xbox 360s. Complete with graffiti. Yeah, it's a uh, customized mm -hmm. art. We got the police at the uh, Goodwill. Looks like we're continuing the theme of a bunch of old clubs and some junior sets. Still have this old Sun Mountain bag, got some power belts. I think there's two sets of power yeah. belts here. Last time they had these, and then looks like these have uh, joined their friends. Another old set of power belts, some old wooden woods. Well, that's and funny. Wooden woods. Wooden woods, that's where it comes from. <laughs> Metal woods. Those, that was my favorite. Metal woods. It's like, yeah. huh? <laughs> I guess there are some that have do have like a metal. Yeah, like this. Yeah, this right here. Metal woods, but yeah. Oh. It seems wrong. Golf is weird. We got a bunch of new bags and a bunch of new clubs. Looks like we've got a full set of irons over here for $10. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, what else do we got in here? Some old Spalding irons. Oh, we got a uh, Ping Eye 2. I think this is the driver. They've had the three wood in here. Or is that? Yeah, the three wood in here. Yeah, well, they uh, have the driver with it. That's pretty cool. I've never actually hit the driver version of it. That'd be fun to hit. And it's got the uh, Golf Ride Tour Velvet Cord Grip, my favorite grip. Yeah. That'd be fun to hit. What is this? It's like a UST Pro. Yeah, it's a UST Pro Force V2 shaft. I think it's a hybrid shaft in this uh, three wood. Huh. It's a really high end. Yeah, and it's got the uh, yeah. MCC Golf Pride multi compound grip. Let's try that out. That looks pretty fun too. Not sure why you have a uh, hybrid shaft and a three wood. Those are usually the different uh, hosel diameters, but whatever. Yeah, they made it work. We'll test it out for fun. They've got the Ping I2 three wood, five wood, three wood, and driver. We might as well get the whole set. That would be fun to try out. Do an old school ping challenge. Oh, and they got a set of uh, Mizuno irons over here too. Oh, I got my brother-in-law. Shadow a HD. $300 driver here for $1.99. Oh, really? <laughs> That's cool. I looked it up online, 300 bucks. That's cool. How long ago was that? Yeah. A couple of months ago. Oh, really? They always have new stuff here. Yeah. First purchase of the day is this set of classic Ping I2 woods. We're testing everything out at the floating range today because it's still too windy to do anything else. I can't really think of any other woods that feel as good as these when you hit them well. The Alpha 3 wood with the hybrid shaft was pretty weird, but we both hit it pretty well. I think the swing weight was a little bit off though because it felt really light, but let's see what we find at the next thrift store. This is one of the first places I've ever seen have them sideways. They used to be vertical, so not really sure what the logic is behind that. Got a, uh, oh, Wilson gooseneck one iron remember that we bought the uh, Wilson goosenecks I think I tried to hit the two iron I really liked it but I couldn't hit it felt really good but I just couldn't hit it straight got a uh, a one ball not a two ball got a one ball what do you think should we get the uh, the one iron I couldn't hit the two iron but this one would be a fun challenge butter, butter knife. knife for sure <laughs> $1.99 to watch me try and hit a one iron, Yeah, worth it. All right, next up is another classic, a Wilson gooseneck one iron. This actually wasn't as hard to hit as either one of us thought. It felt as good as it looked, and that's saying a lot because it looks pretty darn good. Also, we didn't buy anything at the next thrift store, but there were definitely some weird finds. Well, I definitely think they have some nice bags. We got a Callaway bag right here, and then this is, what is this? United States Stove Company. It's seen better days, it's gigantic though. <laughs> You could fit like half of Ashley in there. We haven't done any stacked cooking in a while and Ashley found this cabbage and pasta mold. Yeah. Vegetarian what do you think? pasta, but that one's, that one's a little weird. Check out how many golf clubs this place has. So many clubs in here. Let's see if we can't find something good. There's gotta be just out of all of these clubs, there's gotta be something good in here. Got a natural golf 50 degree wedge. That was like a uh, old infomercial thing right there. There are just so many clubs in here and they're all like full sets so wherever they get them from they're just like getting them in full sets. Usually you see them like individual irons and stuff like that. That's cool. I like that. Oh yeah the old pinnacles. Kind of looks like the Wilson 1200s. It is crazy how they're all full sets. I've never seen this many full sets at one thrift store. Oh here's a uh, full set of uh, Tommy Armour 845s. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then the golden bears next to it. Yeah, golden bears. Lynx black cats, a full set of those. We'll see how much they're getting for this uh, full set of uh, Tommy Armor 845s. Oh, it's got a uh, Tommy Armor 855 hidden in there. Huh. See how much the uh, full sets of irons are going for. Guys, let me know if you've ever seen this many golf clubs at a uh, thrift store before. Crazy. I can't believe there are that many golf clubs at one thrift store. The Tommy Armor 845s are still a great set, especially for beginners. We find them all the time at thrift stores, so it's definitely something to be on the lookout for if you're looking for a quality set of irons for cheap. Well, it's a little less windy today. We can at least talk to you while we're outside. We're gonna go to a couple more thrift stores. We're on the way to the range, which you guys have probably already seen us there, but two more thrift stores today. Let's see what we can find in thrift store. I don't know what number this is, but number one for today. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what they got. They've always got some cool golf trinkets. Got like a homemade paperweight or something like that. They still got that old school launch monitor. Still not sure how that works, but seems pretty interesting. Got a bunch of old wooden clubs still. Got that Ping I-2-3 wood. You saw us hit that already probably. And a Hogan Apex 3 wood get an xpc plus i think this is the uh, golfsmith component brand ust pro 4 shaft oh look at these these are new yeah they didn't have these here last time taylor made super steel burners i think this is the ladies version of these too yeah with a bubble shaft l60 oh, cool. it's a full set yeah, yeah we found all those full sets yesterday this would be a you want to try those out yeah that's really cool yeah i think the clubs in here are a dollar so we started off the next day right where we left off with a full set of irons we very rarely find full sets, let alone a full set of ladies clubs. The super steels were really forgiving and easy to hit, so perfect for beginner ladies on a budget. All right, let's see what they got in here. This place usually doesn't let us down. Oh, let's uh, head cover that to a club that we bought here last time. Got some more over here. Got old Wilson. Oh, they got a, uh, oh, that's sweet. Look at this uh, Callaway bag right here. S2 that's H2. cool. S2H2, this thing is old and it's like in perfect condition. Yeah be a uh, capper to our uh, old school day. <laughs> oh, we got a uh, Ben Hogan driver. Not sure what model this is even. And another. Oh, Hogan <laughs> Princess, sweet. Yeah, we found a uh, full set of these yeah. a while ago. I actually hit them really well, remember that? Yeah, I have no idea how I can hit old school blades. Yeah, you always hit the old school stuff better than the modern stuff. We got a uh, Titleist, a Kushnet, three wood and five wood. Those are tiny. Got to hit those on the screws for sure. <laughs> what do you think? You want to get this uh, Callaway bag? It's only $8. Yeah, kind of do. Yeah, do. <laughs> to cap off our uh, classic day. <laughs> Ashley never says no to a good uh, golf bag. We picked up that awesome Callaway bag and the two Hogan clubs that were in it. The Hogan Princess irons have to be some of the softest forgings that I've ever hit, even compared to other Hogan's or high-end stuff like Mizuno. The driver ended up being cracked, but we still had fun hitting it. The next scene is from a random garage sale that we passed a couple of days ago. We ended up finding a pretty interesting club, so we'll meet you there. A little short game practice thing, got a junior bag. Got some top flights. Weird putter cover. Let's see if there's a uh, magic putter under here. Oh, nice. Ping zing too. <laughs> yeah, it's all uh, top flights. Napa Auto Parts ping zing too. I like the head cover. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> it's kind of goofy looking. <laughs> I know you won't on that guy. Yeah. Which one is it? The putter? Yeah. Uh, QG5? All right. Just, All right. Thank you. Pay, pay you or the... Yeah, just pay her. Okay. All right, guys. There you have it. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. If you made it this far, we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway for you with the ping putter that we found at that last garage sale. Although, I kind of like the head cover. It might not include the head cover. <laughs> we're going to do a giveaway without the head cover. Maybe if I like you. No, I'm kidding. We'll yeah. include the head cover. It depends on who wins. But hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, be a subscriber, and then comment below your favorite clubs to find in a thrift store. These are some clubs that I absolutely love finding when I was like growing up. These are clubs that I, you know, Really, uh, wanted. really wanted but yeah. couldn't afford. So it's kind of cool always finding that kind of stuff. But let us know in the comments. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and uh, comment what uh, clubs you like finding in the thrift store obviously like expensive stuff or stuff like that's cool but Nostalgia's what other, yeah too. <laughs> and also let us know what other stuff you like finding in thrift stores besides golf clubs we found some cool stuff in the past like the the rocket you remember our rocket yes. <laughs> we'll have to link to that in the description the rocket was pretty good but uh yeah hopefully you guys like this video if you did hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you next time see you next time guys hopefully the wind dies down so we can get back out onto the course and yes. do all that kind of stuff but Although uh floating driving ranges are fun floating driving oh yeah i forgot we always forget to mention <laughs> that the uh the golf balls do float 
Yeah. So that's why, and it's really cool to, especially like for a beginner like me, where I don't know where my ball goes, to see it splash. So. Yeah, it also makes the shot tracers easier because I can just draw the line to the splash. But we're rambling now. Hopefully, you guys <laughs> like this video. If you did, hit the like button, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.